Hey guys, this is Long Haul Larry in Big Blue. It is Saturday. Saturday, Saturday. Happy Saturday afternoon, evening to you. It is 5.43 p.m. Hang on, I gotta move something. 5.43 p.m. 81 degrees. We are actually at, we stopped at the first rest area in to Ohio last night, this morning, slash this morning. Get my days mixed up, because night's days, night days. I don't know where I am or what time I'm driving. I made it pretty good. I got empty last night at Aldi's. Uh, that was all good. The total lumber bill for that experience was only $41. That's pretty cool. Um, and yep, I gave him my credit card. And it, where everything worked out good. I haven't seen any $6,000 pair of boots being charged on my credit card. <laughs> but we did that all split thing and ran to the yard and kept going and you know, I did a nap there at Aldi's and, and uh, I caught some more hours. So I went down out to the yard and I was able to drop a hook. I actually have the rental trailer and um, I am hooked up to that one and I took off and I was able to run the turnpike, which was good. Why my window is terrible. I was running in rain and rain and rain last night. And this kind of stopped raining and I left my wipers going and it made some weird smudges on my windshield. So if it looks too bad, I may just uh, let the camera be on me. Then you just gotta look at, look at me. <laughs> um, but I was able to run all the turnpikes, 70 all the way across in you know, Maryland and Pennsylvania and West Virginia and all that. Did all that early, early, early morning, which was cool because I, right there was the pilot. I was wondering where the pilot was. I was gonna actually try to get to that pilot, but Aaron wasn't showing me where to, on that, that pilot. I knew it was someplace. I kind of wanted to shut down there so when I woke up, I could grab a shower while I was still off duty. But that's all right. I'll stink for a few hours. I'll run it and probably when I get close up to Chicago or something like that, then I'll need my half an hour break and I'll pull into a pilot up there and grab a shower. Just be a little stinky for a few hours. But we were able to run in there and got it to that first rest area. Barely made it in there, but I made it. And we are 106 miles away from Columbus, Ohio. We are showing that we are 709 miles to Shano. So we got a full day of running ahead of us. And that's not a big deal. We'll be there early in the morning. When I get there too early like that, they still will take me. But I'm actually supposed to be like the last appointment of the day there. But they actually do want me to be there early. Because sometimes they get done with all the other trucks and then we're not there with our chicken load. And all the lumber service has to wait. They have to just sit around for hours waiting for us to get there. And they actually have said that if if it's past 2 p.m., they're leaving. And then we got to unload our own truck. Which wouldn't be the end of the world, but I don't get paid that money. So, you know, that, that lumber bill there is huge. It's all, it's usually anywhere from 250 to almost $400 for this load. I have no idea why it is. It, all, it takes them under an hour to do it. I know it's not that much work. Um, and I would actually just do it if they would pay me basically the amount of the lumber. I would do it. I used to do that when I worked with Well, when I was leased on with Well. Um, they had a policy that they would pay us, owner-operators, whatever the lumber charged, we could charge and 
we just have to write out a receipt because we had tax IDs and all this, you know, we had a tax stuff. And so we could fill out a receipt and turn it in. And it was great. I mean, I was doing two or three loads a week. And I'd make, you know, an extra $700 to almost $1,000 sometimes a week just unloading trucks. And it was a good workout. So I, I had no problem with it. But then they turned around in their ultimate wisdom and said, well, Schneider does it this way, so we're going to do it too. That was the whole issue with WL. They got this whole big, we're, we want to be like Schneider thing. And so they started copying it. And basically what they would say is uh, they paid per piece. And it would come out, you'd unload a whole truckload. And I mean, it could take a couple hours. And it would be like $38 or $42 you'd make. But then they would turn around and pay a lumper at the exact same place, $400 to unload that same load. So I just said, forget it, I ain't doing it. And when I was actually empty, when I was actually uh, uh, independent, there was a few times I would, you know, I would say to the to the brokers and stuff, I would say, hey, I'll load it. You know, I'd go in there and they'd tell me it's 200, 300, 400 dollars, whatever to unload it. And I'd call the broker up and I'd tell them the price and I'd say, hey, listen, I'll load it. If it, they said 300 bucks, I'd say, I'll load it for 200 bucks. And they would go, sure, do it. You know, can you fill out a receipt with a tax? Well, of course, I got a trucking company. And um, they'd be like, yeah, do it. So I would do that once in a while. But then a lot of times the company, because that lumber bill goes back to the shipper. It's worked into that, that all that stuff. And it would go back to them and the broker would turn the receipt back into the shipper, the company they booked the load with. And that company would say, oh, no, 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 no. We only pay that company because they're insured and blah, blah, blah. All these stupid reasons. I don't know what you gotta be insured for to unstack one box onto another box, but whatever. I mean, I had a trucking company. I was insured for over a million dollars, you know? So, it is what it is. It's a big racket. Everybody knows it. It's just a big racket. I, to tell you the truth, I don't know why the driver has to be in the middle of it. It should be that such place orders such product from some company. And the reason why you have to hire lumpers is because the company ships the product and to get the amount of product that they want on the load, they sometimes have to stack it up higher on bigger pallets and they have to mix different products onto one pallet. You gotta fit it on so many pallets. So you have to kind of stack it together. And then when it gets to the receiver, the receiver goes, well, that's all mixed together. We need it separated. And, or otherwise the pallets may be, you know, seven boxes high. Well, their shelving can only accept five boxes high where they store the stuff. I got a crate here. It's running a little slow going up the hill. I'm not even gonna try to pass them. All I'll do is hold up the cars. Uh, there's only one car coming. I'll sit back here until we get up on the crest of the hill. Then I'll show them what Big Blue's got. In fact, I'm gonna jump out. Yeah, we don't have cars coming. We're coming up here to the crest now, so let's start ringing her out there, Big Blue. Well, he's playing with his dog. He's got his dog on his lap and he's like playing the dogs like rolling everywhere going nuts He's just having a fun time with his dog I don't know if that's the greatest thing there But um So it has to be put the pallets have to be a certain height to make it So that they can put it away in their shelving shelving units, you know their storage areas so that's why it has to be all broke down. And then plus, like I said, sometimes they have to mix the product on the same pallet. So that has to be separated. So they can count it, make sure they got the right amount. So, I have no idea where I was going with that whole thing. 
but I just explained like lumber service to you guys. <laughs> but that's the reason why I don't pay that I don't do it. So I don't know if they don't if they wouldn't be there or something like that. I don't know. I should actually talk to the boss man sometime and say, hey. Talk to this broker and see if he'll if they'll pay me to unload this truck. I don't know if you'll want to start that though, because if, if that happens and I say, yeah, I'll do it, you know, you pay me two hundred dollars, I'll un unload the truck. But then the thing is, is that maybe I'm not doing this load. Maybe John's doing it, or maybe some other WL driver's doing it. Well, then if I'm going in there regular. And in Austin, I don't do it. And then John does it or somebody else does it. And he walked in there and there's no lumber service. And they say, oh, well, the guy usually unloads his own. So we sent the lumbers home. I don't know if John would be happy about that. Or whatever other W or uh, ADL drivers in there. They may say, hey, I'm not unloading this. And may cause a big problem. So I don't know if he wants to start at that. Start that. Who knows? I I know for a fact he won't want to. Because I, I can just see that being a problem in the future. But we are rolling down the road. Making the miles. Making the... gonna give John a call need to talk to him about something um, when I get home I should actually have a splitter because the way John does it when we do phone calls back and forth once you guys listen in is he puts his headset on I don't even know where I got my headset at the moment gotta find it oh here it is um, he'll put his headset on and then what he does is he takes the mic and he like puts it halfway in between on the earpiece. So it picks up the person you're talking to, it picks up their voice, but then it kind of picks up your voice too. It, it doesn't work good. And um, so I did some investigating and what I've done is I've ordered a splitter for a mic. So that way I can have two mics hooked into one. And I'm going to, uh, it's at my house now along with all the cords, hopefully, finally, to hook up all the different cameras. <coughs> um, I've had to order them three times. I keep ordering the wrong ones. I asked John, I'm like, what cord do I need? Oh, you need this one. I order them, I get home, I look at them. Nah, not even close. <laughs> so then one time, then I went on there and I just kind of guessed the one. I think I need this one. I got them in. No, they're not right. So then I talked to John last week and I'm like, listen, you told me to buy these mini HDMI. They're not the right ones. I says, I think it's the micro HDMI. He goes, yeah, yeah, the micro ones. <laughs> ah! So I got like cords galore. I got bags of cords. I got to call up Amazon and figure out how to return them. I, I've never returned anything. I'm not a big returner even in the stores or something like that. If I buy something and I kind of just don't really use it or something like that, I don't, I'm not a person that takes back product. Cause, probably because I used to own a retail store and I know what pain in a butt it is. So, but, and I have no idea how to do this with Amazon. Oh, John just uploaded a video. Camp Douglas to Toma. Well, he should have been there a long time ago. He delivered at noon, I think. So that if he in Walmart, it's two hours. It's two hour delivery. So he should have been empty at three. So I figured he was probably heading home and figured he should be rolling into the house. 
Anyways, what I did is I bought a splitter. I'll get back there real quick. I bought a splitter for my mic, so I'm going to be able to stick one mic inside here. So that way you can hear the voice of the person I'm talking to. And then I'll put in another mic. I don't know, I may just plug this mic in or I may put a mic right on the boom and use that. And no, you can't hook this up to the camera. Me and John have been trying and trying. We have done lots of research on it because that would be so awesome. This is wireless, it's Bluetooth. It's like, come on, Sony, have a Bluetooth hookup on your camera. We could hook up these things here and right here is your mic. You know, all done right there, boom. No. So that's, so I should have that when I get home. So I'm gonna let you guys just uh, go. I think I've been rambling enough. <laughs> I don't know, maybe later I'll tell a story or something. I got a really weird proposition. And to the person who made a proposition, it's not like, I know you guys are all thinking dirty stuff right now, <laughs> the way I just said that. It's not the dirty, it's, it's just weird to me. I understand what you're saying, it's just I would never have thought that I would have gotten an email asking me that question. Um, I might talk about it in the future. I don't know. I'm, I'm. It's just weird to me. It has to do with my stories that I tell. And somebody's asking me kind of a thing if I want to do something on a kind of a business type of thing with my stories. Um, I just went, I just, it, it just kind of was like, what? Um, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. We'll see. So, I'll catch you guys later. I hope everyone out there is having themselves a great day, a great night when you're watching this here video. If you are not, well, we certainly could change that. We could just try that over again tomorrow. So, until next time, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.